Hello and welcome. So in this video we are just going to focus on the start node. So this is probably going to be quite a short video. So let's just make the start node. And the start node is going to inherit from base node. And the start node is going to have two uh, constructors. We're going to simply say start node. The reason why we are just making a completely empty one is later on when we are making the the node search bar, we need to be able to just search for the start node without actually adding anything into the parameters. So that's the reason why we are making a uh, empty one. Now we're actually going to make the one that we need to actually make. It needs to take in a position, so we're just gonna go position. If I could remember how to spell it. Oh, come on, you can do this. There we go. And then we need to have the dialog editor window. It's gonna call the uh, editor window, Lusker, and the dialog review. To be honest, I don't know if you actually need to add those reference here, but I'm just gonna add them just so we have them. That's pretty much the only reason why I'm doing it. Alright, so we need to change the title. And the title of this one is just start. Alright. And then we need to set the position of where it is. And we are going to take in a position. So we're just going to set the position to that. Oh yeah, I forgot. We need to actually give it a, a rectangle. Hello, a rec. It's the the way you need to set set it inside uh, graph view. And then we need to go default node size, so it have a reference for that as well. Right. So now we have set it. Now we need to give it uh, its unique uh, unique uh, GUI. All right. Hello. Uh, not GUI. Uh, GUN. GUN. Uh, it's it's pretty much it's unique way uh, we need to add system for that it's uh what's it called it's it, it's a really unique uh id but it's with the string so it becomes like uh it's i think there's like one in one if in one in billions chance of getting the same id so that's why it's uh, it's really really good to use this one as I can see right now, it is a big one. Why is it that? Oh yeah, it's because... Oh, we haven't made this p protected. That's why. There we go. Should always try to reference the... Uh, always try to reference the, uh, the fields instead of the properties when working inside the same. All right, so now we need to actually add an output uh, because our start actually only has an output, and we're gonna name that output. Wow, what a name, right? Then we're gonna go. Uh, we actually don't need to make any more than that, but we could also tell it that we need it. Oh, let's add the reference. We actually needed it to tell it that it is a single. We could do that, but we could also just say no. But uh, let's just add it that for now. Now we also need to make a, a fresh uh, expression state, meaning that we need to tell the system that we have actually changed uh, this node itself. Meaning if we don't call this down here, it doesn't know that we have changed changed it. Then we also need to reference all the, the ports. Now we're also telling it to um, to actually show the ports. So this one down here is simply just uh, a way if we tell like review to uh, refresh refresh. As you can see, it actually says refresh the layout of the ports. And uh, this is pretty much um, the stat node.
So next video we'll go into another node. Thank you for watching.